I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. This is the first time I'm doing this kind of thing. So I'm so happy that it's you because we've, we've done this once before on your channel. It was so much fun. Please introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are and what you do. Oh boy, I feel like I, I uh, haven't done an intro in forever. Um, so hey you guys, my name is Brittany. I have a YouTube channel called Essential Endeavors and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. But spoiler alert for anybody on your channel, I took off all of my items on eBay. Ooh, girl. So, so if anybody's on your that. channel, they're getting a little spicy, spicy news girl. before it goes Ooh, out on my channel. The tea is spilled. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah, I'm very curious. Okay, so we're going to get into that. Listen, okay. guys, you need to go check out her channel. Brittany's amazing. She is one of the most giving individuals I have ever come across on YouTube. She gave me a leg up and all of a sudden, I had all these subscribers after I did uh, uh, an interview with her. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. So yeah, go check out her channel. She she knows a lot of stuff. I mean, she's been in this. How long have you been doing this now? So I've been officially reselling for coming up on two years now in yeah. July. Okay. Um, but I was unofficially reselling for like three or four maybe four or five years before I officially knew what reselling was hand me and my um, husband always shop secondhand. And then if we got tired of something, I'm like, Hey, I'll just sell it on this thing called Mercari and we can make 10 bucks. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I am a little bit messy. I didn't, I, I, I tidied up a little bit, believe that it or not. pretty tidy to me. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, you should have seen my room this morning. This morning. <laughs> I had not done inventory in like two months. Oh no. So the bags were just falling everywhere. <laughs> I was oh my god! I know it's so bad. It's so not professional. Moving <laughs> on. I'm gonna start with some like basic questions, and I have some silly questions, and you can Ooh. ask questions too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how many hours a week do you do your reseller thing? Oh boy. So, uh, a year ago, I was doing thirty to forty hours a week. Now I do maybe five hours a week. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> like you're sharing and you're all that stuff making offers and all that stuff or i well over the last few months i've maybe listed like a hundred new things like this is like you're gonna get a lot of if, if anybody watches your channel they're gonna be getting like all of the information the but <laughs> i've got all the tea <laughs> <laughs> um i i got rid of my va because i just didn't really need her anymore i'm you know slowly easing up on reselling because there's other secret projects in the works uh which will be coming out on my channel this month i would say before the end of the month people will know where okay. i've been what i've been up to and all the fun stuff okay so by the end of this june 2021 you're going to be launching something pretty amazing Mm hmm okay. very amazing very i'm personally very excited for it my audience might not be i mean if people like me for me then i think that they okay. will but if and there might be like a shift a change a change is coming with my channel <laughs> uh, can we have a hint are we allowed to have just a hint? a hint the title of my channel essential endeavors okay Oh, wow. That could be anything. Exactly. That's why I made it that. <laughs> okay. I love it. I love it. I think it's very natural for people who are driven and people who are into entrepreneurship um, to start branching out into other things. And I, I, you know, you know, I've heard this before on YouTube, like you should niche down and you should just keep it like to one thing. And I think that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that's not natural. And mm -hmm. I think that it's important for you to branch out because that's right. Like that's literally how you grow. And we're people, we have different interests and stuff too. So I think it's, I think it's good to niche when you are for starting out just to build your initial, I guess, viewer base. Um, it, it's a good idea. It can help you grow up maybe a little bit quicker. Um, but I agree. Like when I'm watching YouTube just to watch YouTube, like I'm like, I do watch reseller content still because I'm curious, but I also watch a lot of people's vlogs in their life and like i'm really into health and fitness so i watch a lot of that i mean I if there's something that you are excited about if you get a, an idea an impulse and you're excited about it go with it you know yep. because that's that's your million dollar idea right there there's a yeah. lot of little rules that i've been hearing on youtube that i'm like mm -hmm. this is how i am like if i hear somebody say something like there's this rule this unwritten rule oh. i am the first one to go 
let me see. Like, let me see about this. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna see if that's true. For instance, <laughs> like, um, as a reseller, people are like, well, the only way you can have consistent sales is to constantly list, and you need to list a lot. Like, oh heck no, girl! Mm -hmm. Oh heck no! <laughs> lies, lies, <laughs> lies, lies. lies. <laughs> it's so true. I mean, because I, I just told you, I'm maybe putting in five hours a week over the last month or two into reselling. Like I'm primarily just shipping my stuff. Um, but um, I, yeah, I haven't really been listing anything new. Like I have a little bit, like over the last few months, maybe a hundred ish new listings, but really not that much. I've been selling out a lot of my old stuff. Um, I am now using a sharing service. So that helps to like put it out on Poshmark. Um, and yeah, I'm still making, and Mercari is still great too, because the service that I use also has something to help with Mercari. Um, but I'm still making like anywhere from two to four sales a day and I'm maybe putting in five hours regular sales and only five hours a day. Granted, some yeah. people would look at me and be like, well, you only make a thousand dollars a month. And I'm like, Hey, this is what works for us and our family. Um, and what we need to do. And quite frankly, I'm okay with that because there is a big transitioning period going on in my life right now and YouTube and all this fun stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I'm totally happy with it. That was my initial goal way back when was just if I could consistently make a grand extra a month, like in profit for my family, mm -hmm. um, then I'm happy with that. Next and question. like, Let's, okay. Mm, what song do you listen to the most to get pumped when you're listing? When right. Listing or when you're working? <sighs> Honestly. Yeah. I need pure silence lately. I go, I we talked about this last time, but I go this through, time, this, you, you, you know what? You would do really good with a retreat, I think. <laughs> Mom, but right. when I'm working out, I really am enjoying Post Malone again right now. Post so. Malone, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get into the groove and he just, yeah. I get my good, I get a good workout and listen to my boy Post. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Okay. okay. What's your favorite thing about reselling? You can just kind of you can be as flexible as you want with it you can make you can only resell five hours a week you can resell 20 hours a week if you want to do it a lot for one year and then tailor off because of life circumstances and then pick it back up you can like you are in charge of your own schedule your own life and I, I guess it's just the idea of creating a job that works for you that I love and reselling is one of those jobs so yeah Very flexible cool. Schedule. What about you? Do you agree with that or? I agree 110%. And I also like that it's my own thing. Like that's my favorite. That's probably my, fav my favorite thing. Right. And you're investing in you and you're learning about how you work and, and what works for you and, right. and what doesn't and like what you should keep working on or to right. push to the wayside because you don't yeah, need it. It's, it's not fun. serving and you. It's like there's this little element of gambling in there. And I'm not a gambler, but when it comes to this kind of thing, I feel very comfortable with it because they're experiments. Like everything I do in my business is an experiment. Right. So I feel like it's justified. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, but at the same time, you're doing it with, with knowledge, you know, like you're doing it. It's, it's a well thought out gamble, I guess, because you know, like what's going to do well, or you know how to predict like if it will do well or if it won't, or if it might sit a while, or you just never know. Like I recently got, um, the liquidation lot and it's like, well, I've never really sold like new attack, like for people bralettes and tops and stuff before, but Hey, it's new attacks. It's easy to list. I can find stock photos. I'm really trying to tailor off with my reselling. Um, because of work-life balance and <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> um, I'm, still gonna, I'm still reselling. It's just not as much. Okay. And the reason why will come out soon. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> but uh, the gamble is, is like they had like a 20% off discount and it was like $1,500 or was it $1,800 up front? And I'm like, Ugh. that's a lot. <laughs> My money, I know it'll work. <laughs> it'll just. You have to. You have yeah. to. <laughs> so that's what I did. <laughs> I haven't done a video on it like that before just because I'm, I'm, I don't know. I think a lot of resellers don't want other resellers talking about like where they 
get liquidation and stuff from and i just don't feel like an expert on it lindsay nicole everybody go to lindsay nicole's channel the girl tells all the secrets okay she shares where she gets her liquidation that's where i got it from is from her place but i I felt bad though because i couldn't use her code because they were offering a better code they were offering 20 percent, but she does five percent but it's on the entire site yeah yeah so So everybody go to lindsay's channel and if they don't have that extra 20% going go she has a code for boxes liquidation um if you are interested in making that gamble okay yeah yeah sometimes so, it's worth it so it worked out it, it, like and it is working out for me so yeah and go to essential endeavors closet <laughs> over on poshmark how what is it called in isen how is it it's uh just essential in devs because essential it wouldn't let yeah, I will link that was in my description. So yeah, so you can check out all the new free people stuff that she has. Okay. If you're well, if you're anybody, like I guess it's 2021. I was about to say if you're a girl and you want to wear a bra, but it's 2021. Anybody, anybody that wants to wear a bra, there are no rules, <laughs> there are no rules anymore. Yeah, you know. In depth. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else I got. Hmm. How do you measure success? Ooh, how do I measure success? You can take your time. I can cut out the time if you need like some time. Um, so I think obviously the success is defined in any which way that you want it defined. And I think success has different um, phases, chapters. Like you can have success at different points in your life. And I guess I kind of equate it to goals and and I measure success by setting goals and reaching them no matter how small they are or how insignificant they may seem to somebody else, my ability to achieve my own goals. Um, And I, so I would say I'm a successful person. You know, I might not be a millionaire. I might not own 25 different properties. I might not make $50,000 on YouTube every month, but I don't find success in things or in money um i find success in just my ability like i have faith in like myself and what i can do and like what my husband can do and he inspires me and um and what we can do together as a power couple sounds great i think everybody's idea of success is very subjective you know very personal as well i don't care i mean i don't care as long as you're i think as long as people are going and pursuing their their happiness whatever that may be it does not matter you know, you well, make- as long as it's not hurting anybody. No, I <laughs> obviously. <laughs> She's Brittany. I always have to throw that disclaimer out there because some people have happiness and it's like, nope, don't nope. hurt that little animals. <laughs> yes, none of that stuff. No, none of that, honey. Please no, no. do not be breaking the law. <laughs> no, but like pursue the pursuit of happiness. You know, yeah. like that. That to me is. If you can pursue anything that makes you happy and be a success at it in your own mind and in your own world, then to me, that is, that's how I measure success. I agree. And I, but I don't think happiness is a destination. Like I know that's another cliche too. And I feel like a lot of people are on the pursuit of happiness because they just like keep going and not ever feeling content with what goals they've already met. Um, Once you learn to be happy with what you have, and learn to be happy with who you are and accepting that, then you already have happiness. Then right. you can make new goals and then feel more successful in like being able to achieve this and achieve that. But I don't think achieving goals is necessarily, it's not going to make like more money. Isn't going to make you happy. Like, right. like I think just changing your mind to learn how to just be happy with what you have no matter how little or small and just try to change your the way that you think and know that you know whatever you want you can achieve it the only person standing in your way is yourself and your mind and yeah it's about practicing gratitude absolutely like you don't get to happy by chasing after something that's outside of yourself happy comes from practice it comes from inside it's it's an inside job you create it yourself yeah. Easier said than done, too. Yeah. Of course, you gotta work on that every day. At least yes. I, I work on that every day. Yeah, always get there. I mean, some days, like we have those days where we're just like feeling like crap or whatever. But it's also though mm-hmm. having those days and understanding that we ha- all have this ebb and flow. Mm-hmm. Like we have those days where we're on and we're feeling awesome, and every now and again, you get those days where you're like, damn, I. I really am not liking myself today. Take it easy, get myself off the hook and like just forgive myself and accept myself as I am that day. And you know, 
I agree. And it's okay if you have multiple days like that in a row because yes. I've been there. <laughs> oh, or weeks. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's part of life, you know. And those are the things that I don't know. I mean, I guess we're talking about those things more publicly. And I think that's really important, especially after all of the trauma that we've just received that we've been on the receiving end of. Yep. So there should no be there should not to me, there shouldn't be any sort of stigma, you know, like yeah, no, I'm pretty much an open book with as much as I can be. So, um, and I agree. And I think, I think YouTube is going more into that type of content. I think people are resonating more with real people, like just sitting down and just being honest. Yeah. Um, and I know I do. Like I, I find myself watching those videos of people just being raw and real and not necessarily being so... I designed this video and here's a skit or I wrote out this outline and stuff. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not like some videos like that are nice, but some I'm like, I just want to do this and just feel like I'm talking with something. like, you know, people have videos like this, but it's just them talking to a camera. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's just nice because you feel like you're talking to them or you can just relate. Yeah. And I think that's people just want to feel like yeah. not alone and heard. Yeah. You know, and heard. Yeah. Home. And they, I think there's also this level of not, not, not fearing judgment, you know, like doing YouTube is, is actually pretty therapeutic, I think for me, because there's that level of like overcoming that fear of judgment that comes. Um, and when you put yourself out there completely and you're not hiding anything, then you know that the audience knows who you are. And it's not a big deal if they unsubscribe or anything, because what you're doing is you're attracting your audience at the same exactly. time, right? Yep. So yeah, I think that's why there's this level of therapy because you're attracting people that are relating to you. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Okay. Silly questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> we need a lighthearted one after that. That was so yeah, fun. After how we, geez, we got, sorry, <laughs> got heavy. Got heavy. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Okay, have you ever dined and dashed? Mm. Never. Really? Never. I can't. I'm too... No, I've never done that. Have you? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I, I, I think... Yeah, I don't feel guilty about it. They deserved it. They had it coming, okay? No. Well, ooh, <laughs> this fun fact. I did... <laughs> I, you know, and I don't know if anybody is from out of the country, out of America, but the American culture is you tip because they get paid crappy wages. They get paid like two bucks an hour, which is yeah. really crappy. But yeah. so like it's, you're being waited on. It's a service. You need to have good customer service as a waiter or a waitress. And I have gotten terrible service before. And I, there was one really bad instance and I left them a penny. <laughs> That's. Um, that's pretty nice that yeah okay that kind of goes into that bad girl category yeah i mean i paid for my food and it was like a time when i like i was like maybe in high school and i like took myself out to dinner and i was like i'm i think it was like chinese food i'm like i'm craving chinese food and <laughs> i had bad service and i was really disappointed i paid for my food but i left a penny God. for a tip <laughs> Oh, Mother Teresa. Okay. I know. <laughs> oh, you have a vision board. And can you name some things if you do have a vision board on what's on it? I wanted to create a vision board at the beginning of this year, but it didn't work out. Um, I end up having a lot of fun things like that to do for myself, but I never end up doing them. Um, and that also, I have always, I'm a big to-do list person when I'm in the mood to like mark things off my to-do list. I'm, I always have a to-do list, but like somehow most of the things never get done. <laughs> so ambitious, over ambitious. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And I'm like, oh, I got all these things done, but I really wanted to get more done. And it's, the list goes on and on. Um, of stuff. <laughs> I wanted to do a vision board. My vision board is just in here. Um, I don't think What's it was. There? What's on your vision board in your head? Oh, well, thankfully, like, the work-life balance was the big one. And I have accomplished that and, and maintaining that. So that's good. I've gotten more. And with that, I got back into more of my 
uh, health and fitness, um, which has always been a love and passion of mine, but I kind of fell off of it because I was getting a little bit too sucked into YouTube um, and per and getting into, it was more like the hustle mindset rather than just YouTube or just reselling. It was just that hustle mindset. Mm -hmm. And even though like I, I think I like talked about not wanting to be in it, but it, it was like, I was talking to myself because I could see it, but I just couldn't suck myself out of it. Um, but I eventually did. And thankfully, um, because I don't think it's healthy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm back into the gym. I work out like five to six days a week. I like to weight lift. I gotten into running. Me and Lindsay's a runner. Me, me and Lindsay has helped me with a few um, like running tips. So I went from running like an 1130 mile mm -hmm. down to like an eight and a half minute mile. Wow. So, yeah. That's very good. Awesome. I listen, I work out um, five or six times a week too. I don't run because I used to run, but my knees just won't do that anymore. But yeah. I have a Stairmaster and I have, um, Oh yeah. I like doing my workouts on my, um, I have like a, the, the New York city ballet workout that I started doing again. And a, a serious power yoga, Ryan Kest's power yoga three hardcore stuff for building muscle really nice so that's what i do and i do abs a couple times a week so oh yeah i gotta get i put that on my list this week i'm like i gotta get back in abs and i actually did them today i did um decline sit-ups and then i did obliques so huh? <laughs> fun fact yeah. i do a lot of i'm, I'm in the gym a lot. She's a lot. A We're the regulars. Me and my husband are the, are the regulars at the gym. We're in there for like two hours every day. Total uh, <laughs> so We're those people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. What else? Do you have any questions for me? Um, <clears throat> sure. Here's a fun one. Um, I know you and I both believe in manifestation. Have you, has there been anything recently that you manifested into fruition oh sorry i knocked my microphone <laughs> anything that's been a recent manifested thing into your life yes and it's a semi-guilty pleasure but i'm working on the guilt end of it because i shouldn't feel guilty about it um i got this really i'm looking at the picture of it on my vision board right now okay i liked it when i i have a vision board and i have i have i've given myself 10 years from on this vision board so it's from 2020 to 2030 wow okay so it, ma it makes it a lot less, there's less pressure, right? Yeah, true. A lot less pressure. And it's actually working a lot better because I, you know, there's not this pressure. So I have this pair of Prada sneakers, these really cute Prada kicks that I just got. And the Prada is a bougie brand. I'm, yeah. I love Prada. Oh, <laughs> guilty pleasure. <laughs> That's fine. You know, you do you. Yeah, I got my kicks. I got my product kicks, so I'm really happy about that. Let's see what else. Nice. I a nice camera for doing YouTube stuff. I manifested a thousand dollar um, portfolio at Vanguard. If you're into investing, you know what I'm talking about. Index funds. It's all index funds, people. Get those index funds. <laughs> um, let's see. I have other things I haven't manifested yet. Um, I have an iPhone. That's going to be very soon. That's the next one. A new one, a new iPhone. A new one. Yeah. yeah. We have like an iPhone six or seven. Really? We're yeah. We're those people. We're like, Hey, our phones are paid. Oh, I don't know. I think it's five. <laughs> Is it five? I don't know. Five. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I mean, there came a point like, well, we, I think we had fives and then I think this is a seven. I really don't know. Really don't care. It works <laughs> and it's paid for. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's your favorite musical? Oh boy, my favorite musical. I don't know. What's yours? Hmm, let's see. Late, latest I can think of? Funny Face with Audrey Hepburn. I don't think I've seen that. I, I've seen a few musicals. I'm not a huge musical person. Nothing uh, musical? Not a single musical? Something from your childhood, perhaps. I'm trying to think. I don't think I was exposed to a lot. I, I don't think it's a musical, but I just, a lot of singing in the movie. That's um, a musical, huh? That's I know, musical. but I'm like, it? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That, I think that's a musical. My husband hates it every time I start singing a song, but like the, the toot, sweet, toot, sweet. <laughs> that song, sometimes I just randomly start singing it. He's like, what are you singing? 
Could you sing a few? I have my cue card. Sing a few lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. You get too sweet for me twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, yeah, that's the only one. And then like Grease, but I don't, is that considered a musical? That's definitely musical. Grease is great. I love Grease. Okay. Well, those are the two. And then, well, this one, like I didn't watch as a child. I watched it like more in like, I think it was like middle school when I saw it for the first time because my sister showed it to me. It's not really age appropriate. I don't know why I was allowed to watch it, but the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> There was like a few songs in there that were like really. Mm. I love that. No, you don't have to tell me. I've been to the Rocky Horror Picture Show like I don't know ten times in my life. Yeah, I know, but like as an adult, like I'm like, why was yeah, I was there as, as a young person as well. <laughs> my mom. Anyways, I. <laughs> chitty Chitty Bang Bang is my jam. So. Your jam is Chitty Too Sweet Chitty Chitty. Bang Bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, do you have any messages for us resellers or whoever else is watching this channel um i have radical self-care videos up now i have diy videos so anything related to any of these things do you have anything to say to us oh goodness well first of all thanks for watching all the way to the end if you did click the like button because it will really help janine out so that's a little plug for her <laughs> know, just don't get sucked into the hustle mindset like keep you, you, your health and well-being should be one of your absolute highest priorities. And if you feel like something's not allowing you to keep that a priority, then just take a step back. It's okay to take a step back. And I feel like, I don't know, the hustle mindset doesn't let you have that. And it's okay to take a step back sometimes and work on um, some interpersonal things if you need to. So Right. And you can be happy and successful and take a while. While still doing that, yeah. Yes, and take naps. That's my thing. I'm oh, adding. Gosh. I, we took a nap like the other day. We've been, so we've been working. So this is another little fun tip. We've been working like 12 hour days on our secret project. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it is. Um, And we had, oh gosh, we've been a little drained to be honest. But um, we took a nap the other day and I felt so refreshed afterwards. I was like, Yes, like I love naps. Why haven't we been taking them? So. Yeah, yeah. As you get older, you start really appreciating them more. Like I'm 41, and I started calling them in my mind magical unicorn naps. Okay, oh, they're yes. fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Just glorious, absolutely glorious. <laughs> okay that's it that's all we have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this reseller somewhat reseller related content around essential endeavors Brittany. thank you so much for being here on my channel i appreciate it i appreciate you i think you're amazing and wonderful you don't even know how wonderful you are okay thank you, thank you so much for being on my channel and i will catch you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hers if you haven't already oh. bye, Bye.